Hey everyone, it's Trent, back with another video. I know it's been a few weeks since I posted my last video. Lately, I've been pretty consistent about posting one video a day, but if you want to know why I haven't been uploading as frequently, and if you want to know why I'm still recording in my car, I'll leave all that information in the description box down below, just because if you don't care about it, I don't want to bore you guys with the details. As you said, by the time of this video, I'm starting a new series called Let's Talk. In this series, I'll be talking about anything and everything that I want to talk about. You guys know that I'm very opinionated and that I have a lot to say, but you also tell me that my rant videos help you guys out a lot. So I decided to just make a whole series about me ranting about whatever I want to talk about. This channel is no stranger to rant videos. I post them all the time, but I decided it's time to just make a series out of it. So that way, if you guys see Let's Talk in the title of the video, you know it's going to be a rant video. This video specifically, I'm talking about depression. I wasn't really sure how I wanted to go about making this video just because I posted it a lot. And I mean a lot of videos about my depression. There's literally so many of them that I don't even feel like going through my channel to link all of them down below. So if you care enough about my depression and want to see those videos, I'll let you take it upon yourself to go find them on my channel. I didn't know how I wanted to go out making this video just because I talked about this countless times, but I don't mind talking about it again. I feel like depression is something that should be talked about all the time. It shouldn't be something that makes people uncomfortable and it shouldn't be something that should be forgotten. Depression is something serious and it's a conversation that should continue being talked about for years and years and years. Maybe if this topic was talked about sooner, then there wouldn't be so many people taking their own lives due to this disorder. For this rant video, I'm just gonna be giving you guys a pep talk because I know that pep talks help me, so maybe pep talks will help you guys. When it comes to depression, everybody deals with it differently. The way that I deal with it and the way that I experience it is gonna be different than the way that you deal with it and the way that you experience it. My coping mechanisms will be different than yours. You might not even have any and that's okay because at first I didn't have any either. I was in middle school when I realized I had depression. I didn't know what was wrong with me but I did know that feeling sad every single day, not wanting to leave bed, and wanting to kill myself probably wasn't a normal feeling. Oh, so I went to my mom and I wrote her a letter talking about all the things that made me sad and about how I'm constantly sad every single day I wake up all the way till the time I go to bed and how I constantly think about killing myself. Luckily, I have a great mom who got me help almost instantaneously. As soon as she was done crying, which I still feel bad about, but as soon as she was done crying, she immediately got on the phone and called a counselor and booked me an appointment. Granted, that counselor was zero help to me whatsoever. I might make a story time about her, but with very few details and very minimal information, just so I don't get sued. I might make a story time about her just because she was awful, and I feel like my experience with her and what I learned from her might help you guys out. So the counselor didn't help me. My mom didn't know how to help me. So the only thing that I really had left to do was to try to help myself. And me being in middle school as a millennial, what did I do? I just hopped on Google. I looked up coping mechanisms, ways to fight your depression, ways that you can try to be happier. Honestly, Google helped me out a lot. But that also tells me that my depression isn't as severe as, as other people. My depression was diagnosed. It was diagnosed by a doctor, but it wasn't that severe, which really confused me. I figured if I was thinking about killing myself, that's pretty severe, right? But basically, I was just told that my depression wasn't as severe. So I was one of the lucky people that had a strong support system, and I was lucky enough to basically get help before it got to the point where I was helpless. So that's just a little story about my depression. But what I wanted to focus on in this video is just to give you guys a pep talk on how you could help yourself. For one, try to go see counseling. And just because I had a bad experience doesn't mean you might not. I haven't tried to go see a new counselor since then. I probably should, but I'm too scared to, if I'm being honest with you guys. I still don't want to die or kill myself. But as I said, I still have depression. It hasn't gone away. And sometimes I do just need somebody that I can just talk to. I try not to talk to Isaiah about my issues too much just because I don't want to put that burden on him. My issues and my depression is too much of a burden on myself. So I don't want to try to put that on him. So as I said, try to go talk to a counselor and see if they can help you. If not, they can give you plenty of resources that can help you. You have to understand that this isn't something that you can cure. It's something that you have to learn to live with and something that you have to cope with every single day of your life. When I was in middle school, I barely had any motivation to leave bed. There was days when my mom had to drag me out of bed just to make me go to school. I still have days where I don't leave bed, but nine times out of 10, I'm able to push myself to get out of bed because I know the busier I am and the more productive I am, the less I will feel upset, the less that I will drown in my own sorrow, and the less my mind will keep me too occupied to want to live my life. Basically, the busier I am, the happier I am. That's something that I learned when it comes to my depression. So I highly recommend that to you guys too. Even if you are feeling your weakest, if you are feeling like you don't want to get out of bed, you have to push yourself because for me, being busy helps. 
and for you i'm sure it'll help you too if you're busy you'll be too distracted to think about anything that upsets you and you are too distracted to basically feel i don't know about you guys but when i'm working i don't really feel anything i'm just there doing my job i kind of just go into work mode and that's something that you need to do sometimes you just need to get out of your depression mode and get into a different kind of mode if you don't have a job try working out go for a run go babysit go find a stray dog and walk that dog i don't know just find something to distract you get out of depression mode and and go into a different kind of mode go into workout mode work mode walking a stray dog mode you get my point here okay you just have to find things to distract you and you have to find things that make you happy there is something out there that can make you happy even if you don't think there is i promise you there is and when i say there's something out there that makes you happy i don't mean a person don't ever rely on a person for your happiness because you are going to crash and burn and be miserable every single time you do that you have to be happy on your own do not put your happiness in somebody else's hands because they are going to drop it every single freaking time find things that make you happy not a person but find something that makes you happy find a hobby that makes you happy go find an animal that makes you happy and befriend that animal just go find something that makes you happy or that at least distracts you enough to where you can't drown in your own sorrow you just have to focus on the good things in life you have to focus on the things that give you happiness focus on the things that make you feel good you cannot sit in bed all day and be miserable about your life you have to push yourself to get out of bed so that way you can take on the day and so that way you can focus on things that make you happy you have to be productive laying in bed feeling miserable is not being productive you're letting your depression win and you don't want that i know it's hard i know it's easier said than done but it can be done also learn to take a step back if you're feeling sad or if you're having an anxiety attack or if you were contemplating killing yourself even calm down for a second if you can and take a step back what i do is i take a step back whenever i'm feeling overwhelmed or if i'm feeling extremely upset i just take a step back and i look at it like this you have your depression in your mind and you have the reality in front of you is the reality in front of you actually as bad as what the depression in your mind is saying it is if it's not then that's when you need to focus on the reality, not the depression. If your reality is as bad as your mind is telling you it is, you need to figure out ways that you can change your reality to make it better. Always try to focus on the reality first before you let your mind take over. If there is absolutely nothing going wrong in your life, but your mind is just playing this game on you, making you feel miserable, because that is what depression will do to you, you gotta try to basically shut out this part, shut out your mind, and silence your mind, and just focus on the reality. I know that's hard because there are some days where I cannot get my mind to shut up and my mind will not stop racing, but it really does help me if I focus on my reality before I focus on my mind. Because sometimes your reality isn't as bad as what you tell yourself it is. And then you're basically being sad for no reason. But there's other times when your reality is as bad as it seems. If that's the case, then you need to focus on, on your reality, what you can do to fix that, so that way you can try to be happier in your mind. Depression sucks. I know it does. I deal with it every single day. It's something that we have to deal with for the rest of our lives. Laying in bed all day, feeling miserable, and being upset isn't dealing with it. It's feeling it and letting it win. Also know that everybody out there who is dealing with it is a beautiful human being that has a lot to offer to this world and who can change lives. So don't let the demons in your mind overshadow all the good things that you have in your life. You have to try to focus on the good things in life and not the bad. Everybody out there is a strong, beautiful human and I don't want to see you guys give up this fight. Life is worth living. Life is beautiful. There is so much you can do. The opportunities are endless. So don't let your depression and don't let your mind get in the way of living and doing something beautiful. Some days I fall short of that advice. Some days I do let my mind win. But nine times out of 10, I finally got to a point where I'm so excited for my future and I'm so excited to try to follow my dreams that I'm not gonna let my mind get in the way. I'm not gonna be my own worst enemy. Not be your own worst enemy, be your best friend. I don't really know if this video made sense to you guys, but instead of talking about depression itself, I just wanted to talk about ways that you can help yourself if you do have depression, ways that you can motivate yourself, and just to help you guys see the bigger picture. With all that being said, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends if you want to, or honestly share it with anybody because you don't know who might relate to this video, and you might not know who needs to hear this message. So definitely share this video. Also subscribe if you are new, 
Tap the bell to be notified whenever I post. I post at least one video a week. So if you tap that bell, then you won't miss out on a single video. Be sure to follow me on, on all my social medias. The links will be in the description box down below and at the end screen of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. See you guys in the next video.